Hello everyone. With the release of version 15.30, PLS Poll and Tower have added the ability to preview files in the Windows Explorer without having to open them. This is referred to as PLS Shell. There has also been some minor changes to how Windows recognizes and works with opening PLS files. In this demonstration, I will be using the latest version of Windows 10 and if you're using a different version of Windows, the functionality will be the same, but may look slightly different. To start, let's take a look at what will appear to be a new program installed on your computer. If you navigate to the Windows Control Panel and click on Programs and Features, you will see a listing of all the programs installed. And now you'll notice next to all of your existing PLS applications, you also have PLS Shell. You will only see this if you have PLS Pole or Tower installed. The PLS Shell will get installed automatically when you upgrade to the latest version. So to see what it does, let's open a Windows File Explorer and navigate to a project directory with structures. To start, you'll need to make sure you are displaying files in either medium, large, or extra large icons. You can do this by clicking on the View tab at the top and clicking on one of these options. I'm going to select extra large icons so that it's easier to see. And once I do this, you'll see that PLS Pole or Tower will start to update the structure file icons with stick structure previews of what the structure in the file looks like. This makes it easy to see what the structures look like without having to open them. Additionally, if you click on the View tab at the top again, you can select the option to turn on the preview pane. With this enabled, I can now click on a particular structure file and you'll see that in the preview pane on the right, I see a rendered preview of the structure geometry along with information like project title, notes, and the license holder that created the file and in what version. Another related improvement to the software for PLSCAD is the recognition of ancillary file types that go along with PLSCAD projects. If I navigate to a folder that contains a PLSCAD project, you'll notice I have the typical .prk, .con, .cri, .don, .fea, .num, .pps, .str, .tin, and .xyz or .pfl. In case you are wondering what all the ancillary files are, I will quickly explain what each of them are. The .brk file is the breakline file which may be used to assist in creating a tin surface model. The .com file is the constraints file used when making spotting constraints, which are typically used when using optimum spotting. The .cri file is the criteria file which holds all of the design settings. The .don file contains all the engineering information, things like what structures are placed and where, and what tension sections are strung and where, and what tension they have, etc. The .fea file is the feature code file that allows us to tell what a particular XYZ survey point is. The .num file is the alignment or line route file, the PIs of the project. The .pps file is the plan and profile settings file that holds all of the drafting settings. The .str file is the available structure list file of all structures that can be used in the project. The .tin file is the triangular irregular network file that contains the information needed for building a ground surface model. The .xyz and .pfl files hold the survey points of the project. For more information on these file types, please refer to the PLSCAD manual. In previous versions, only the .xyz or .pfl file would show up in the Windows File Explorer as being associated with PLSCAD, and you have to double-click on that file to open the project. Now all these ancillary files are recognized as belonging to PLSCAD, and you can double-click on any of them to open your project. For example, I'll double-click on the demo.pps file, and you'll see it launches the demo.xyz project. Another small enhancement that helps in opening projects is known as the jump menu. If you assign your PLS applications to your taskbar, like I've done here, you'll be able to right-click on them to access the jump menu. There are two things you'll need to confirm to access this jump list. 
The first is a window setting which can be accessed by right clicking on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. In here click on the start option over here and make sure this option at the bottom to show recently opened items in jump lists is turned on. The other thing you'll need to do to access the jump list is to make sure that you have the PLS application launched. Now when I right click on a PLS application, you'll see I have the ability to quickly launch projects that I've accessed recently or frequently. I can also pin projects to this jump list to, by clicking here so I can always find it in the jump list. We hope that you find these new Windows enhancements helpful in viewing and accessing your projects. If you'd like more information about our software, please see our website at www.powline.com. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at If you'd like to receive a quote to purchase or renew your license, please contact us at sales at And for any technical questions, please contact us at support at Thank you for watching and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.